That's what happened to you when you take your medication, which is metophilina debt. Well, I get a lot more anxiety and I feel a lot less active when taking it. Hey friends, I'm Faye. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to take Xavier to see a chiropractor. We've been seeing this chiropractor for a whole month now. She was recommended to us by my kid's pediatrician because Xavier has pains in his back and also his neck. Um, the reason he has pains in his back, first he has flat feet, second so he goes to Taekwondo every day and also swims every day so that causes him to have some pain in his back. So our pediatrician says take Xavier to see a chiropractor she will adjust his body and then he will have less pain and continue with his active life. Yes, Xavier is 12 years old, he weighs 135 pounds and he is 5'7". I have to keep my kids active otherwise they will eat me alive. These kids, they have ADD and ADHD so what that does, they are always on the move. So therefore, I create things for them to do such as going swimming, um, go to Taekwondo, play soccer and <laughs> to do everything under the sun so they keep active because if they are not active i can't keep up and i fell in my kitchen two years ago i will tell you the story in a moment i gain lots of weight and i get tired xavier has adhd and he's been off his medication for a week now because i was told by his pediatrician that he needs to get off the, the medication that he's on because he has some ticks. He's been taking methylphenidate for five years and it's a medication that is really good for his DHD. It helps Xavier pay more attention to his environment. However, in the last month, he has developed some ticks. So what happened to your skin? Because when I have so much anxiety, I try to brush it off by picking up my own skin. Okay, thanks babe. Have a good day friend. So you see little marks like little open wound because he picks at the skin. So this medication is habit forming. So what does that mean? It means when you're taking take it over a long period of time, your body get used to it. If you get off of it, you have some side effects. Sometimes people have headaches. Sometimes if they feel nauseous and all kinds of other stuff that I'm not gonna go into so um, he's been off of it he's been doing pretty good however um attention is not where it needs to be so this is the reason that i start taking him to the chiropractor because i was told the chiropractor is gonna adjust his spine adjust his body and then give him some uh supplement for his gut for gut health and vitamins and that's what we've been doing for a week and also mars he's on the autism spectrum and also have adhd mars bean is on a medication called concerta so what that does to him uh, he gave him ticks. The medication works really, really well for him. However, after being on it for a year now, Mars start pulling out his eyelashes and then picking at his hair. So it almost have a bald spot right here. I talked to his pediatrician and I said I cannot keep him on this medication because the ticks are kind of severe. If that continue, he's gonna have uh, alopecia. I have decided to take him off his medication but when you take those kids off their medication they are super hyper so what i've been doing i've been give them cbd oil cbd oil is that oil you take out of a cannabis plant or marijuana plant it just doesn't have it's completely different than the other compound that is in the marijuana that make you high what i have noticed so far they've been doing pretty good it's like they are not super calm but they are not super hyper either so i can say that the cbd oil is helping my kids so since i see that the chiropractor is helping the cbd oil is helping i am going to get myself adjusted so here's the story two years ago i was doing dishes in my kitchen and it was december my son received the hoverboard for christmas so he was trying it out and playing in the kitchen so he left the hoverboard behind me who wasn't paying attention i turned around to grab a plate that was on the kitchen table 
the hoverboard was still on i stepped on it and went flying so i fell on my back and hit the kitchen floor with a bang and i swear to you i thought i broke my back i was on the floor for a good 15 minutes because i, I could not get up by myself when my son comes in and try to give me a hand to stand up and i said no i'm not gonna do it because this pain is unbearable if i move a muscle i swear to god i'm gonna die and after a half an hour i get myself up get in the car so i went and see a doctor so they did x-rays and they didn't find anything wrong with me per se except that my hip was dislocated because of that pain i been a bit afraid to walk out because i don't want to pull any muscles and get hurt again i have not walked out for two years <laughs> and because of that I gain weight. I am 5'3". Right now, I weigh 155 pounds. So I am highly uncomfortable with my weight right now. So this is the reason I want to see a chiropractor to get my spine adjusted, to get me healthy again so I can go back to the gym and get healthy. So I need to get mentally over the fact that I'm gonna get hurt by sneezing. If you do not watch my older videos, I used to talk about my being bipolar. So I've been bipolar for my whole life. I took medication for it and I'm doing really, really good. And I took Lamictal and I took Silkwell. These are two medications. Those two medications together works really well. I feel normal for almost five years now. And I haven't had any issues with it except for the fact they slow down my metabolism tremendously. And that's make me gain weight, which I don't like. So when I get my body adjusted, what I want to do, I want to learn how to longboard. Longboard is like a snowboard, but longer. So it's something that I really want to do so much. I think it would be fun. So when I get healthy, I am going to longboard and perhaps lose at least 30 pounds. That's my goal. Nothing fancy. If you're new here, just say hello, leave a comment. I hope you liked this video, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time.